Well, hey, handy people, Dan here. Hey, uh, boy, oh boy, I've been doing a lot of work. Uh, got a lot done these last week and a half. Um, so come on, let me show you. surely got the front suspension all completed back in obviously subframes in c70 subframe and brace m56 is in with uh, the c70 wiring harness complete so I've got a manual wiring harness with the correct uh, mounts I just got to get this finalized here but the trans is in and so is the limited slip. And uh, yeah, now I'm moving to the back and I wanna get this thing up tonight and uh, all fours. Oh yeah. Well, that's done. Brakes are done. Well, Lazarus is uh, up in the air, and uh, I did the reclining seat option. Actually, I, these are all unbolted and un unplugged, and they're ready to go. I'm going to uh, get some help here in a few minutes. Got Jason coming by, so we'll pull these out of here. Um, then I can pull the rear carpet, which will allow me to get the rear uh, get the um, parking brake cables out of there once I do that I'm all pretty well I drained the fuel tank earlier today uh, jumpered uh, jumpered the wires in there you can see them through the glass um, pretty easy to do folks the uh, well I can't flip the seat forward because the other seats in the way but I'll show you that how I how I went about that and uh, yeah Getting excited about getting this, this little devil off here. Well, Jason came by and boy oh boy, we, uh, we did a lot of work. And uh, he had the expertise because he's pulled his, one of these all wheel drive carriages out before. And he had fabricated a jig which worked perfectly with two by fours that uh, we used and now we've got it sitting on, on a couple dollies so it's movable. This thing is amazing. Wow. Wow. So that's a great step. We're, we're moving forward with great speed and accuracy. But I, I can't explain to you how big this piece is. I mean, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's giant. Wow. I mean, the exhaust makes it look even bigger, of course, but, uh, wow. She's out. Hoo Front wheel drive, here we come. In case you're wondering how the brace works, uh, there's a, a couple of two by four chunks that sit on the end. Uh, that you can see they're 11 and 3 eighths uh, and then the main bar there is 41 and 5 eighths and then the crossbar is uh, 54 and 3 eighths and then the other bar is 39 and 3 eighths and those two sit on top of the base bar and then there's a 2 by 4 that's 10 inches long that sits in the middle at uh, 25 and a quarter from the end of the short one and basically what that does is it allows 
uh, you put a pin in the middle that'll fit inside the hole that's on the on the uh, the, the rear assembly, and that hole is if you look at it from the back. right up there that hole and that pin goes in that hole and that's where the center of your brace is and then the wider part this part this part this wider piece of 41 and 5 8 goes underneath the mufflers and then that part goes underneath the tank so there I hope that helps I don't have the brace with me Jason took it home but it's a great piece and I hope that uh, that helps you. So I'm going to reuse this. These are Eurosport tuning um, uh, exhausts, expensive exhausts, and they're still in good shape. They're a little dirty. They've certainly got some wear. I'm gonna break this connection here and hopefully I can pull that piece out easy enough and uh, that'll allow me to get this apart and then this will be, you know, be shrunk down quite a bit, a little bit more manageable here in my garage. Um, yeah, it's quite an amazing setup actually if you look at the uh, original all-wheel drive. Very complex independent rear suspension. This one being the 2000 has the bigger brake rotors uh, and the vented ones. So that's kind of a nice upgrade for somebody. And uh, yeah, yeah, torque tubes on it. Um, and uh, viscous coupling I should call it. Dana rear. This thing was, this is a real deal. It's pretty impressive. Interestingly, this guy here replaces it. Isn't that amazing? And I did the math. Originally I thought it was 600 pounds, but it's about 400 pounds difference. When you take into account the drive shaft, the angle gear, the uh, transmission, difference between the automatic uh, five-speed and the manual five-speed and then all this stuff here the uh, it's it's pretty impressive the difference well we got the uh, exhaust separated oh yeah that's gonna go back on and I dug this out of my storage and this is a all-wheel drive well it was on an all-wheel drive car but it's a uh, hitch assembly for a Volvo OEM and it's got the OEM wiring plugs it's a little dirty but it's very clean it's rust free and it's got my friend that pulled it for me thank you Tom uh, got the whole OEM kit and I think looks like tail lights and Stop lights. Handle with care. So there's all the wires that plug to it. And those all run and plug into the plug that comes down here. So it goes in that special holder. And uh, yeah, that special holder right there. And we all know what that is. That's a, one of the ventilators or whatever for the trunk area. And this looks like it was chopped, or, or not chopped up, but used to connect this to an aftermarket harness, which is kind of wound around here and the ends are broken off. But I'll get rid of that, I think. I'll th I'm going to keep it because those are, those are nice. And they work. But I want OEM. And I have an adapter plug for a flat floor for my trailer. So. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty excited. So I think first in is this guy. So I've got some rusty bolts to contend with and so forth. But we'll get them in first. Then I think followed by this guy. And I gotta clean that up and then, you know, I'm gonna paint the mufflers again and make them look nicer. And then followed by finally this guy. Oh yeah. And then if 
followed by a fuel tank, which I have over, over around the corner. So, yep, the big lump is out. Uh, yeah, I told Jason he could have it. He's excited because it's got the larger brakes from the 2000s. And, um, yeah, and Lazarus is smiling, looks like to me. Thanks for watching.